Hello everyone, uh, this is Pastor Sheng from Christian Spirituality Academy. Uh, no one uh, can see their true self in the sense they are worse than uh, the invisible man. I mean, the invisible man becomes visible if you pour flow on him at least. But uh, the reason it is hard to detect them is because this spirit of false food are us, you, me, and everyone else. They are most like dinosaur bones uh, displayed in natural history museum. They are most uh, obsolete from our lives. Uh, they are not a group of characters from the Bible, just like how we imagine the, dia the dinosaur looked like when they roamed the earth. It is sad to see that this long gone dinosaur's existence feels more tangible than the spirit of false food. But it is something that uh, lingers in your mind. Uh, like a stone inside your shoes that you can never uh, completely get rid of from the Bible talks about them. Isn't the Bible the book of truth? Uh, then we should accept anything as the truth if the Bible has said so. But strangely, uh, churches today don't talk about the spirit of false food. Not many Christians have heard of them. So uh, then it is either one or the other. Uh, this spirit of false food have nothing to do with Christian while we are just deceived and controlled by them. It doesn't matter what we think, we have to admit we've been deceived by these demons. If the Bible only mentions things that are closely related to our very lives. And I am clearly aware that my claim uh, do not grab people's attention, even though what I say is repeat after the Bible. But they, uh, there are people interested, thankfully, and I would like to talk about how to fight against them. The evening meal uh, was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, uh, the son of Simon uh, Iscariot, to betray, betray Jesus, John uh, chapter 13, uh, verse 2. Now, a man named Ananias, together with his wife, Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. With his wife's full, full knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself, but uh, bought the rest and put in at the apostle feet. The Peter said, Ananias, how is it, it uh, the Satan has so filled your heart uh, that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Uh, didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your di uh, disposal? What made you think about doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but to God. Act uh, chapter 5, verse 1 to 4. When the Simon was sold, uh, the, the Spirit was given at the our laying or uh, on the pastor's hand. He offered them uh, money and said, Give me also uh, this ability so that everyone 
on whom I lay my hand may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you, because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part of the share in this ministry, because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hope uh, that He may forgive you uh, for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of the bitterness and captive to sin. Act chapter 8, uh, verse 18 to 23. Uh, let's take a, th a throw a look at this passage. The first passage talks about how the devil prompted a a Judas to sell Jesus up to the soldiers. The need, the spirit of the false food control then dominate Judas Iscariot's head, uh, which produced thought and opinions. The second passage is about Ananias and Sapphira, an early Christian couple. There are so many Christians selling their personal possessions and offer the money to the church and they want to do the same. But when they sold everything, the money gained was far more than what they've ever seen. They didn't want to give up everything, so they decided to leave a portion of the money on for themselves and then offer the rest to the church. But Peter pinpoint that uh, the thought uh, came from Satan. Sadly, uh, this couple's end was not too great. They end up in hell, despite giving their possession to church, thanks to the spirit of the fourth food. Uh, this is a typical uh, case uh, of the spirit to sit on top of the people's head, controlling their thought. The third passage is about Simon, uh, the uh, sorcerers, sorcerer. Uh, he used uh, uh, demonic power, demonic power, and black magic, and he was well experienced. Uh, with the spiritual world, but uh, his jaw dropped when the saw pe Peter drive out demons and heal people just by praying. He was in awe since Peter's ability was far beyond his own. His black magic could not be compared to what Peter w was able to do. So he decided to follow Jesus. He even got baptized. He asked people, Peter uh, for the ability, offering him a lot of money. But this, uh, this also was a thought put into him by the spirit of false food. Peter saw right th through it and told Simon to repent, for uh, Satan filled his heart with weak weakness. This is also the case where spirit of false food attack people by deceiving them through thought. Uh, from this passage, we are able to see their spirit fear people uh, with their thought. Then shouldn't you inspect your own thought, every single one of them? But would it be a lost case when you are already being controlled by these demons? No? You sure you can detect them? The spirit of first four deceived then had Peter and Judas and Iscariot fall. They were members of the uh, uh, 12 apostles uh, that Jesus handpicked. They even tried deceiving and tempting Jesus Christ himself. So, are you really sure you can detect their, 
uh, they attack and fight against them. I mean, the ideal is there, but in order to do so, shouldn't you become a man of the Holy Spirit first? Who are people of the Holy Spirit? Uh, they should be working as a servant of God, saving people's soul by using uh, their spiritual ability to chase away demons and heal people. Have you ever fought against demons before? The mind governed by the flesh is uh, hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. No one can do so. Romans chapter 8 uh, verse 7 uh, You adulterous people, uh, don't you know that a friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, uh, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an uh, enemy of God. James uh, chapter, uh, chapter 4 verse 4 a spirit of forceful tempt you with a worldly thing you desire and make you sin. You can be sure these spirit of forceful are inside Christian the head. If these Christians come to church to ask God for physical wealth and blessing, but this type of the uh, pro prosperity theory concept are so very common in church today. A big church follow them and they gather people a lot easier that way. These want to be very see and successful in this world. People are the ones that let a spirit of false food control them. How many Christians today would not fit into this category? You should evaluate yourself as well. Don't you recite list of your worldly desire when you sit down to pray? So then how can you detect this attack and chase them away? Uh, then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, and, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 to 25. Uh, there is only uh, one way to drive uh, this spirit, uh, spirit out. It is to completely deny, deny oneself. You must live a life of a uh, up, uh, up the, uh, up in order to live a life of self-denial. You must deny what you pre uh, prefer, like and want. You must uh, throw away your self-confidence, self-assurance, self-satisfaction, and self-pity along with them. But denying oneself is pretty much impossible while having a physical body. This is why you must constantly call out to God and ask for the Holy Spirit in dwelling. You must also apply to the blood of Jesus Christ and to be a lot in order to fight demons. And it should not be done as if you, you are mindlessly uh, chanting a spell, please think about how Jesus was put uh, to the cross for you every time you pray. So you must not stop praying until you are filled with peace, joy, and freedom. You must keep going until you have the sign of the Holy Spirit within you. In other words, you'd have the fight against these demons like uh, there is no tomorrow until you establish kingdom of God within you. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.